Hi you guys, Hi. we're back. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hey! It's always gotta be me. If there's a highlight reel out there, I'm gonna be in it. Let me tell you that. Hi you guys, we're back. Hello. I am my sister Mirage. Sorry, we're going? Hi you guys, Hi. we're back. I am Isis Mirage. And I'm Coco Ferocia. Okay, and so, let's just get into this. Yeah. The first thing I want to talk about is the whole fucking trademark thing with Alaska from the last video Oh my god, page. guys, please. <laughs> you guys are seriously crazy. It's seriously, we were joking. All the fans. This bitch said something about a parchment and angina with a parchment. I don't know how anyone took her seriously. We were my laughing. Favorite. I spoke about Mystique's company. <laughs> I swear I mentioned a company. My favorite was someone comparing Alaska to Taylor Swift and then I was imagining on like Alaska's Instagram all the snake emojis, you know? Like From all of you comments. guys like leaving her comments like snake, snake, snake. So anyway, um, we can still use it, we're fine, we're not being sued, it was just a joke, we love Alaska. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Allegedly. It's fine. Allegedly. I guess the first thing really we want to get into in the episode is a door went home. By choice. By choice, obviously. I was definitely rooting for a door. I wanted her to stay. Yeah. But you know, I was not mad at her for deciding to go. Like, if it's right, it's right. And she felt like it was right. So. Yeah. And Rue was like trying to do everything to get that bitch to stay. And even still, she had to stand her ground. And you know, you gotta respect her for just feeling like this is the decision I need to make for me right now. For me, it would have been nice to see a door come in like she did in the fucking entrance and do like a door down yeah and like really be that bitch that she is yeah and give that regardless of michelle and i think instead like the whole situation just got to her and she didn't want to be in that space again where it's like i gotta like try and match up to everybody mm, else yeah when and she's not, happy yeah. she doing yeah. what she's doing you know what i'm saying i'm not mad at her for making that decision at the end of the day i understand people are like oh the opportunity and everything like that, but yeah. that's her opportunity to decide what she does with this. No right. one else is. Right. So yeah, that's that. As far as snatch game, I don't want to get into the whole thing like individually. Yeah, I want to like, try to keep this fucking like... shorter, please, Jesus. <laughs> so you know, basically, I was mostly interested to see who was gonna like bring it back from their season. The girls that didn't do so well in their season. Right. Yeah. And and there was a lot of pressure on the girls that did do well, and then it, yeah, some did well, some did. So that was like, the basic, you know, judge of a snatch game and what was going on, what we were looking for here and there, and all that. Okay. One thing I do want to address is like the hate online and everything is like really ranking up with some people, you know, definitely I feel like Fifi has been dealing with it like in her her season and is sort of... Yeah, like if like, you've been following her on social media... They're trying to reignite media. that a little bit with like yeah. the way that like they spun the whole thing with her wanting like Roxy to do a different character and it was like touching base on like the situation with Jiggly but like I really don't feel like Fifi was trying to fuck with Roxy. I really don't. Yeah. Like at this point, like with everything con being considered, I don't think that she would. She's okay. It's not even a matter of think. I can promise you, this bitch didn't go into this situation trying to fuck with nobody. On the <laughs> contrary, she went in there. Trying not to. And if that happens inevitably, that's because it's a competition. There's mm. gonna be tension. There's gonna yeah, be time it's not gonna where be you just, wanna win. Yeah. And you're trying to do your best to yeah. win. And deal with the competition yeah. and the other contestants the best way you can. You know yeah. what I mean? And you can't hold that about, against anybody. And so. at the end of the day, it's like, I think just the message that we want to put out is just to, especially there's a lot of like, younger viewers like watching the show now, like just take it easy with the social media and coming at people and you know at the end of the day like all these queens are real people with real feelings and artists and, and like exactly part of the know, community and we should support each other and uplift each other we just can't perpetuate that like i mean yeah. you can make whatever choice you want you like to be messy boots whatever the fuck you want to do but i'm just saying that there's a lot of toxicity around us already <laughs> as an aesthetic that's cute but for life that's not the way to live it's yeah. just not so and also i want to say we met fifi and she was so fucking nice yeah. like <laughs> super sweet really went out of her way to like take pictures with us and like 
have a conversation with us and engage yeah. and everything. Yeah. And we were not in a position or a situation where that was at all necessary. There was no showing off to nobody. Like, you know, that was like genuine. I just think since her time on the show and everything that like, as much as she's trying to move forward and like show a different side and like she's definitely done that through social media and the three, six, five days of drag and all that. Yeah. Bitch. But as so far as the over. show, I feel like, you know, the viewers and the fans need to also get over that too and like allow for some growth and like allow for your perception to change as well if yeah. you haven't yet. Yeah. Which I think it need to be like kind of really late if it hasn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying like it's 2016, it's really <laughs> Move on, bitch. <laughs> so the runway this week was where your most edgy sickening couture shoe like the baddest shoe like go in your closet and like find something just so edgy so sickening so 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 smoking <laughs> so fierce so shaking yeah <laughs> something so smoking and Alaska really did that <laughs> <laughs> she really did with the shoe this week, and um, that this shoe, is that why she won shoe, the lip sync for your Honey, legacy. Yeah, that's it's a it's a shoe that I just I close my eyes and it just screams at me, like <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> into the like black abyss, like of patent leather. Yes, I honestly the shoe is iconic and it is. Where's I where's the Twitter why, account? Because. If like, they're in a Twitter account, y'all ain't on it. I'm just saying, I better find one now. You can't wear a shoe like that. Like, you can't. And she did, you know what I mean? Like, even after her wearing that shoe, like, I would still never good for you. Congratulations, oh I God. still can. Some of us are so, out here struggling because, <laughs> like, to think of yourself to be in a place where you could get on the plexiglass and say, I'm gonna wear this shoe. Mm. Cause I can! <laughs> like, I've realized in this situation that I have boundaries! Uh-huh. And like, mm -hmm. lines that I can't cross, you know? Like, <laughs> things to work on um, in my life. So, yes. Um, I guess... Cause we should all have that confidence level I, at the end honestly, of the day. We that should. you can sit in front of that panel, in front of those people, uh -huh. on that stage, in that, in shoe. that shoe. And not only in that shoe, that. but feature that shoe. Absolutely. <laughs> no, but, okay, seriously, on a serious note, like, really? <laughs> she won a lip sync in that shoe. You can't be mad. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have no words. It's like, I'm gonna wear this shoe. Because I want to win the lip sync. And then she did. Yeah. And it's like, I can't believe that worked. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. And I'm like, Basically. I can't believe you stay home, Tatiana. I know. Really? I, I know, right. As far as who was like left, I don't know who the... You know what I'm asking? It's all stars. Like, it's tough right now. Like, you don't want to send nobody home kind of thing. Like, it's like, everybody's kind of great. You know? That's the point. It's just for me, for me, for she, I wanted so much for Tatiana to just be Show there. Us more, yeah. Till the end. Fucking... Do it, showcase everything she's got because you know she really started from the bottom in her yeah. season, she didn't have too much. I think regardless hair, though, like like and it was a choice for me as far as casting and everything. She was like the only girl really like from such a prior season. Yeah. Were meant to or being led to believe I feel that they're coming back, but then mm -hmm. it's happening to everybody that's eliminated. It seems yeah. so it's like you know yeah. you're in line after Pokemon Trees apparently. So <laughs> there's a little queue forming. <laughs> we shall see where that goes. Yeah. And leads to. Um and I guess we'll see you next time. Maybe? Yes. I don't no, know. No, like, well, maybe we'll we're be trying back to do other videos and so we're trying to figure this out. We're trying. Yes. Mwah. Mwah. Bye.